I'm now going to demonstrate our advanced cable sizing package. It's very easy to operate and you can see all the information you need on one screen. So let's start off with stage one and type in the project. Move into stage two, the description of the circuit. Move into stage four, we'll leave that at 230, which is the UK phase neutral voltage. We need to put in the design load, which will go for 63 amps. The power factor, we'll leave that at um, 1. Circuit 7 shows the kVA and kilowatt. You've got various grouping factors which we could change if we wish to do. We'll leave them at 1, which brings the design current through to 63. We need to go to stage 13 to put in the cable length. We'll go for 25 meters. The ZE value is 0.2. That takes us to stage 15. We select what type of breaker. We've got various breakers or fuses. We'll go for a type B breaker and we'll select 63 amps. Disconnection time we'll leave at 0.4 and the maximum ZS are calculated automatically for you. Moving on to stage 16, we can type in the type of overload type of manufacturer which we have done that worked out to 16 kA and the perspective circuit current on this job was 7 as long as that's below th that figure that will remain not going red now we can move to the volt drop we'll go for 5 volts and now we'll go to the stage 18 which is the stage where we can try design if you look down there the cells in red indicate the design does not compile with BSM6 so it's obvious we've got to go to a larger cable. We'll also change to installation method E which we can change there and we'll go and see if a 10mm cable will suffice. Select a 10mm cable and now we can move across to see everything's ok. This is the selected cable, it's 90 amps which is fine. The energy withstand is OK, the volt drop is within the limits and the ZS value is below the maximum. So that cable will comply with BS7671. The software has got two other very useful design features. If you wanted to try cables in parallel, you can try two, three or four or try two. That automatically alters the settings. Uh, and we would try a 4 mil. and as you can see if you went to 4 mil with two cables in parallel then everything complies also which is very very useful we've got the cable data we've got the gland size for that size of cable the support spacings the minimum bending radius the weight and the nominal diameter and watch what happens if we change the different cables it automatically changes so this is a very very useful feature in addition we've also got stage 20 that if you wish to uh, some design to use a parallel CPC you can tick there and you can do it um, either not applicable or you can try various sizes of CPC and what is particularly useful, you can print this complete screen out to show the record of the cable design. In addition to the armoured cables, we now extended the software to cover a PVC single core cable, or we've got LSF cables. The software also includes now 6242 BH LFF cables or PVC cables. Why not now download a trial of the software and have a go for yourself and just see how easy it is to use and uh, what useful information it contains. In addition to sizing of cables the uh, design software also designs conduit trunking and a very useful after diversity maximum demand calculator. I will now show you the trunking.
calculator. The calculator is now displayed on the screen. You merely type in the number of cables. And what happens now, it's worked out the factors for the trunking and the trunking you can use is in green and the ones you can't use is in red. Moving on to conduit sizing, the same situation applies here. You just type in the number of cables that you wish to use. It's worked out the factors and the conduits you can use with the various straight or bends are in green and the ones you can't use are in red. Moving on now to calculating uh, load diversity, that was a difficult thing to arrive at. This is a very useful piece of software. You can type in the project title there and just type in the connected load, which I'll do. That's worked out the that's worked out the diversity. Now you've just got to manually enter the uh, amps how you wish to distribute it across the um, phases. I've now filled in the uh, the rest of the loads uh, as you can see it's added them up I've also some put some off peak load and you can see the uh, maximum demand for normal and the maximum band for night all these forms can be printed out um, to show to your client if need be or saved into your file system to prove the design